The overall conviction among most scientists is that the hypothesis of how things came to be stays the primary explanation for the beginning stages of the universe. This speculation incorporates the development of stars, planets, and whatnot life on those planets, including ourselves. Not enduring its genuinely whimsical name, the Big Bang offers an illuminating investigation into what could have occurred. At first, the universe was thick, in a short space more unobtrusive than a pinhead, with particles thickly packed. From this minute point, an enormous impact of matter and energy happened, known as the Big Bang. This event, occurring billions of years ago, clears a path for the spreading out of galactic history. However, progressions in scientific data have provoked expanding irregularities with the assumptions for the hypothesis of how things came to be. When NASA shipped off the James Webb Space Telescope, the greatest and most advanced space science observatory ever created, scientists speculated its observations would support the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. Regrettably, after only one year in space, the telescope astounded analysts with its incredible ability to peer deeply into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's astonishing capabilities have uncovered infinite systems dating back to a period so ancient that it challenges our understanding of the universe's origins. This revelation has ignited an extraordinary examination into what existed before the Big Bang. One essential moment in this mission occurred when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with data from the telescope, unintentionally tracked down a world going back just a short time after the Big Bang making it the most settled world ever observed. Natu's discovery sent shockwaves through established specialists, highlighting the unprecedented capacity of the James Webb Telescope. Its mission to transform our perception of the universe has just begun, promising to reveal exceptional insights into the earliest epochs of the universe's existence. This epoch, scarcely discussed before, holds the key to sorting out the advancement of the primary stars and systems. The telescope's revelations have opposed starting suppositions, uncovering systems with characteristics exceeding past figures. This unexpected flood of early systems has ignited a whirlwind of scientific inquiry, testing examiners to align these insights with existing theories. As scientists grapple with these revelations, they face critical queries regarding the fundamental nature of the universe and the forces shaping its evolution. Other than the James Webb Telescope's advancement, which is revolutionary, it is situated 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, shielded from terrestrial interference and cooled close to absolute zero by its tennis court-sized overhang. The telescope carries a massive segmented mirror and exquisitely sensitive instruments designed to uncover nuances of the early universe as of now never seen. This era, known as Cosmic Dawn, occurred roughly a couple of hundred million years after the Big Bang signifying the period when the first stars and galaxies began to form. The course of how this unfolded remains a subject of intense scrutiny, with theories ranging from the effects of dark matter and dark energy to the interactions among starlight, gas, and dust. The telescope's view of systems from cosmic dawn presents an incredible opportunity for cosmologists to test how they could interpret these enigmatic characteristics. By exploring these ancient galaxies, Analysts can either confirm the validity of their ongoing models or uncover gaps in understanding that could lead to critical new discoveries. Initially, it was projected that the telescope would see several feeble and small galaxies in its pilot assessments. However, reality has far outperformed these expectations. The telescope's initial pictures of the distant universe revealed a plethora of galaxies with ages, sizes, and brightness that exceeded all assumptions. This alarming wealth of early galaxies has set off a race among astronomers to claim new records for the earliest known galaxies. Each week conveys instances of yet another record-breaking discovery, leaving the academic community in shock and instigating a reassessment of our understanding of galactic history. Following the James Webb Telescope's revelations, researchers and observers have hurried to examine the existence of these startlingly mature early galaxies. Some speculate that flaws in the analysis of the telescope's fundamental observations may be responsible for these unconventional revelations. Nevertheless, the consensus remains that these discoveries represent a shift in perspective in our understanding of the early universe and offer enticing clues about the nature of cosmic evolution. The new revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope regarding galaxies raised significant questions about the nature of the universe and challenged the doubts of standard cosmological models. 
While some scientists ponder whether these observations can be reconciled with existing theories, others suggest they might be the first signs that the universe is even more complex and intricate than previously imagined. The question is nothing less than our fundamental understanding of how the universe we know arose from primordial chaos. The early discoveries of the JWST might potentially reshape our fundamental concepts of cosmic history, revealing insights not only on distant galaxies and ancient systems but also on the actual existence of our own Milky Way. As Mark McCarran, senior researcher for science and exploration at the European Space Agency, puts it, you develop these machines not to confirm the paradigm, but oh break it. You just have no idea how it will break. The beginnings of JWST can be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Institute in 1985. Even before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched around that time, G. Winger, then director of STSCI, was tasked with envisioning what could come after Hubble. Despite initial reservations, Weir and a small group began laying the groundwork for what would eventually become the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which primarily captures visible light, JWST was designed to observe in the infrared range, allowing it to peer much deeper into the universe. This capability is critical for studying distant galaxies whose light has been stretched into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe, making them invisible to telescopes like Hubble. With its massive, cold, star-like mirror, JWST became the best instrument for unlocking the secrets of cosmic dawn. The necessity for JWST was highlighted in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed a wealth of galaxies in what was thought to be an empty patch of sky. This discovery demonstrated the richness of the early universe and underscored the need for a telescope capable of probing significantly deeper into cosmic history. After 20 years of development and at a cost of around $10 billion, JWST was finally launched on Christmas Day in 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to begin its most paramount year of scientific observations. Early initiatives like the Early Release Science Program and the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program were expressly designed to search for early galaxies. While initial expectations were modest, the results far exceeded assumptions. The JWST observations have tested existing theories about the early universe, revealing galaxies that challenge standard models. These startling discoveries highlight the importance of pushing the boundaries of scientific inquiry and showcase the extraordinary capabilities of cutting-edge advancements like the James Webb Space Telescope. As scientists continue to unravel the secrets of the universe, they are poised to revise our understanding of cosmic history and the forces that have shaped our universe into what we see today. The early insights made by the James Webb Space Telescope have astounded astronomers by revealing incredibly distant systems almost immediately. Before JWST, the most distant known galaxy was GNZ 11, discovered in 2015 with a redshift of 11, corresponding to an age of around 400 million years after the Big Bang. However, at the outset of JWST's observations, the GLASS collaboration led by Rohan Natu and another independent team made a significant discovery. They identified a galaxy named Glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, approximately 70 million years earlier in cosmic history than GNZ11. The rapid pace of these discoveries was facilitated by refined techniques for estimating redshift, which, while less precise than direct measurements, provide a swift assessment of a distant galaxy's distance. Remarkably, Glass Z13 appeared unexpectedly bright and massive, with a mass essentially indistinguishable from billions of suns despite being much younger than the Milky Way. Subsequent discoveries unveiled even more astounding revelations, numerous galaxy candidates with estimated redshifts as high as 20, indicating their formation a mere 180 million years after the Big Bang. Some of these systems exhibited structures not expected to appear so early in cosmic history. Moreover, evidence emerged for galaxies nearly indistinguishable in size to the Milky Way at a redshift of 10, just 500 million years after the Big Bang. These rapid advancements challenge the assumptions of the standard cosmological model, Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, which describes the universe's evolution based on our understanding of dark energy and dark matter. According to this model, systems of such size and brightness should not have formed so early in cosmic history. The emergence of massive galaxies in the early universe presents a significant puzzle for cosmologists to solve. To fathom this issue, it is crucial to understand the early stages of the universe's evolution. In the first seconds after the Big Bang, 
the universe was a hot and dense soup of primordial particles. Over millions of years, the first stars began to form, creating the building blocks for galaxies. This process of cosmic evolution from chaotic beginnings to the organized universe we observe today is believed to have taken around one billion years. JWST observations have tested this paradigm by revealing galaxies that appear too mature for their cosmic age. Instead of observing numerous small protogalaxies merging to form larger massive galaxies, as expected by current models, JWST has identified galaxies that are already sizable and bright. Observations with instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile have provided additional evidence supporting the validity of these distant galaxies, challenging the possibility of low redshift interlopers. These groundbreaking discoveries open new avenues for understanding the early universe and may necessitate updates to our prevailing cosmological models. JWST continues to reshape our understanding of cosmic history, challenging our assumptions and pushing the limits of astronomical inquiry. The absence of detectable dust in the insights made by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array highlights the challenges faced by telescopes in validating observations made by the high-level capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. As Rohan Nata noted, while JWST can build upon its own findings, Alma's difficulty in identifying the massive galaxy underscores the complexities of confirming such discoveries. The implications of JWST's findings are profound, potentially challenging the established Lambda CDM cosmological model and necessitating revisions. Michael B. and Cullen expressed astonishment at the results, suggesting a fundamental departure from our current understanding of cosmology. One speculative theory that could explain these revelations is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which challenges the existence of dark matter and proposes alternative explanations for observed gravitational effects. JWST's observations align with modified assumptions. However, there is skepticism among certain specialists, such as JYP, who highlight the difficulties in reconciling modified dynamics with existing data. On the other hand, the absence of dust in early galaxies could provide a clearer explanation for their brightness, potentially astounding efforts to measure their masses. Andrea Ferrara suggests that dust may not have had sufficient time to form in the early universe or may have been stripped away during galaxy formation. Charlotte Mason and her colleagues proposed that JWST may predominantly be identifying the brightest young galaxies, which are easier to detect. David Spergel posits that intense high-mass star formation in the early universe could explain the observed brightness of these galaxies. He speculates that early stellar populations may have played a role in triggering star formation providing a potential explanation for the rapid rise of galaxies in the early universe. The swift surge of scientific papers stemming from JWST's initial insights underscores the significance of these discoveries and the critical implications they hold for how we may interpret cosmology. As researchers continue to analyze JWST data, they could uncover further insights that challenge and expand our comprehension of the universe. When the initial data began flowing from the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists were eagerly anticipating the results. Many had been managing their data analysis pipelines for quite a while, preparing for this moment. Rather than following the traditional peer review process, which can often take months, cosmologists opted to share their discoveries on AR-14, a platform where preprints can be uploaded after minimal review by authorities. This approach allowed for another kind of peer review to unfold in near real time on platforms like Twitter and other social media channels. Rohan Natu describes it as science by press release, and the ensuing flurry of discussion was intense and extraordinary. Nancy Levinson, the interim head of STSCI, admits to underestimating the scale of the phenomenon. However, there are concerns about the potential drawbacks of this rapid dissemination of discoveries. Claus Pontypool, JWST project scientist at STSCI, noted that while the swift sharing of results facilitates quick publicity and discussion, there is a risk of overwhelming the process. The overall conviction among most scientists is that the hypothesis of how things came to be remains the primary explanation for the early stages of the universe. This speculation encompasses the development of stars, planets, and life on those planets, including ourselves. Despite its whimsical name, the Big Bang offers an illuminating investigation into what could have occurred. Initially, the universe was dense, compressed into a space smaller than a pinhead, filled with tightly packed particles. From this infinitesimal point, 
a massive explosion of matter and energy occurred, known as the Big Bang. This event, happening billions of years ago, set the stage for the unfolding of galactic history. However, advancements in scientific data have led to increasing irregularities with the assumptions surrounding this hypothesis. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most advanced space science observatory ever created, scientists speculated that its observations would support the theory of the universe's origin. Unfortunately, after just one year in space, the telescope surprised researchers with its extraordinary ability to delve deeply into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's impressive capabilities have revealed galaxies dating back to such ancient times that they challenge our understanding of the universe's beginnings. This revelation has sparked intense inquiry into what existed before the Big Bang. A pivotal moment occurred when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with data from the telescope, accidentally discovered a galaxy dating back just a short time after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy ever observed. Nata's findings sent shockwaves through established scientific communities, underscoring the unprecedented capabilities of the James Webb Telescope. Its mission to transform our understanding of the universe has only just begun, with the promise of unveiling significant insights into the earliest epochs of the universe's existence. This era, previously little discussed, holds crucial information about the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The telescope's findings have defied initial assumptions, revealing galaxies with characteristics surpassing previous expectations. This unexpected influx of early galaxies has ignited a whirlwind of scientific inquiry, challenging researchers to reconcile these observations with existing theories. As scientists grapple with these revelations, they face critical questions about the fundamental nature of